guys, this is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy episode. Let's get straight into it. Should a woman shoot her shot and propose to a man? Listen, y'all out here, y'all women out here feeling like, oh, I'm the table. This is what I bring to the table. You, you know, I'm y'all advertising y'all self. Y'all step into these men and this man, the man you say you, you like and... You looking at him like, look, no, you should not propose to a man. A woman, I understand there's, there's something on social media that's showing all these women down on one knee. That, that look ridiculous. Proposing to this man. What What in the world? I, I did see that. Like, really? Huh. You take the fun out of the hunt. For a man. That's just like a man going fishing and then someone just saying, here's some fish. Don't even worry about casting your line. Don't worry about sitting there, pulling it in. The struggle take all the hard work out of fishing. Why? Why would you sit there and, and take that away from a man? Now, the man don't feel he won't appreciate you because he didn't have to work for it. Men don't appreciate stuff that they can get for free. If they got to pay for it, spend some time, put some effort in it. They're going to make sure that they're going to do everything they can to keep it. If you make it easy for him, then he has these, you know, feminine attributes that he doesn't really, toxic masculine traits that he's like, you know what, a woman should take care of me. This is actually displaying this type of energy. And you're asking the man to marry you is the same thing as telling him that you're going to get married. Like, you're, you're going to marry him. Like, he he's not going to put that much energy, if not all, because he already knows he's got you. So, how is he supposed to, why would he make you feel secure? Go out of his way to make you feel secure and uh, to make you feel like, why should I have to provide for you when you already done made it easy for me? You know, the man's job is to go out and provide. And make a living to make his wife and the woman financially secure and emotionally secure. He, he's not going to put that much effort to making their relationship work when problems rise. He's not going to be emotionally available or financially available when addressing your needs. Or when it comes to your feminine needs, he's not going to be emotionally available to you. And as far as the bills go, when you when you get you know the bills coming up, he ain't going to be that financially wise because you already done showed that you can do that. So you don't propose. Got down on one knee, so now you got to sit there and you got to display that. Now that's got. Now you got to keep that up throughout the whole duration of the relationship. Now it's got to be you always being the one to come through to save the family. Now you gone you done sat there and done made yourself out to be Bob the Builder type of chick. Now you know he's gonna treat you like crap for the most part of the relationship and eventually abuse you mentally, physically, emotionally psychologically because you 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 asked him he didn't ask you so therefore he shouldn't have to change to be with you because you already seen the type of man that he is so why is he gonna have to change anything this is who i am when you met me and you decided to stay with me so i don't have to change anything about me so he feels like he doesn't have to prove anything and as a woman, you should not have to beg any man for what you want and pay for what you need, especially to the point that you have to get down on your knees. I mean, well, that, I mean, that's another conversation for another time, but that's called being a whore. But if you get down on your knees for a man, but I'm just, that's a whole nother conversation. We will talk about that, but I'm just saying, but this man, the man that's, you know, that you proposing to, you get down on one knee for, this man will never commit to you and he'll never respect you and he will only manage you and it will not last because you you're operating you're not operating in your feminine energy which is allowing a man to be a man and to provide and take the lead in the relationship and be a spiritual covering for the household the man is the protector why are you trying to be the protector and getting down on one knee it is very toxic feminine energy to propose to a man because this man, because this is, this to this man, because you will want the, because you want the experience of a wedding. So you want to propose to him 
so that you can you can go through having a wedding so bad that you don't that you plan how you don't you you go you want to go through the motions of having a wedding that you don't know how to prepare and plan to make a marriage last. Okay, it's more than just buying the wedding dress and, and the bridesmaid dresses and your mama made dresses and the bride and the cake and, and the wedding bouquet and everything like that. What goes into making a marriage last? Not that the wedding is out the way. The real work must be gone. Must begin. So, men need to date a woman longer than six months to be absolutely sure that he wants to marry you. If you are in a relationship with a man past two and a half years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 16 years, he ain't serious about spending the rest of his life with you. Let's face it. That's a big commitment for the rest of my life to death do us part, to having a whole. Have you ever considered the, the wedding vows, the language of the wedding vows? And, and then, you know, this man... Whoa, are you, are you, is he really, are you really showing up as the woman that he needs in order to even consider marrying you? That's why it took, it's taking him so long because you're probably not even the type of woman that he would even marry. If y'all living together, sure. But are you marriage material? Uh, did you ask him what he wants from a wife? Number two, is he ready to be married or or is he just looking for a place to stay? He just want a roof over his head. Number three, is he like a homosexual? He just only being there doing what it is that you want him to do so that you won't put him out. Number four, what is your gut telling you? Listen to the pit of your stomach. What is deep down inside? What is your stomach telling you? What is your gut telling you? You know, uh, try not to force it. I mean, is he really the man for you? Or you're saying, if you're going to live in my house, we got to be married. That's all you want. You just want the wedding. Can you meet his desires? And can he honestly meet your desires in order to be married? Does this man make you feel safe? Secure, emo uh, financially and emotionally. Does he make you feel safe? Physically, is he safe to be around? Or is he so abusive that you just want to marry him thinking that he going to change. You know, maybe that man is trying to get himself together before he marry you. You ever thought about that? You need to let a man be a man. Don't try to change his mind by trying to propose to him. Make this man prove to you that he can love you properly, cherish you, provide a safe, stable, loving environment for you and your children if you should have them. Some men, let me tell you something, sis. Some men, they prey on women who move too fast wanting marriage. And they do this because he, he, he'll say yes because he feels sorry for you. And he will marry you out of pity, not because he love you. You can, you can tell by the way the man treats you, especially if he's emotionally unavailable. This man don't like you. You can tell by the way he talked to you. You can tell by the way he constantly criticizes you, judging you. Does he make you feel good or make you feel bad? Does he support you or does he neglect you? Does he tell you that he loves you? Does he build up your self-esteem? Does he build up your confidence if he's good for you? Have you ever stopped to think about all these things? If he builds you up, then wait. If he's good for you, then wait until he proposes. Wait for that man to ask you for your hand in marriage. Now, if the relationship is under two years... It's good to wait for him. But if the relationship is over two years, you know, over five years, over 10 years, then maybe you want to reconsider and end the relationship because men don't really need that long. To, to, to he, They don't really need years to see if you're marriage material. You know, they don't need years to see if you are mommy material for his unborn children. You know, if you're giving off wife vibes, wifey vibes or mom vibes, Men know this from day one when he meets you. The first 10 days in a relationship. If he want to spend the rest of his life with you. You got to stop being so desperate and exhausted with the dating. That you are willing to force this man to marry you and to love you. 
And if he's probably desperate for a place to stay, he will marry you. He will, he will marry you out of desperation so he don't have to live on the street. He will be marrying you out of need, not want. But you don't care because you are so lonely and desperate and, 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 and you will accept him. You are being a toxic feminine. This is, this is a one-way ticket to a disastrous marriage. Especially if you're paying for the needs of this man trying to make him stay. This is called buying what you need and paying for, begging, buying, begging for what you want and paying for what you need. So that this man will not leave you. Let me tell you something. Man sniffed this out and the man said, okay, fine. You trying to buy me? Well, I'm going to use you. Because she desperate for a man. She don't want to be alone. This is the beginning stages of a toxic marriage. And if you are connecting with your man on a spiritual level, mentally, emotionally, and physically, he's going to be the one to ask you first. So don't lose sight of who you are trying to be everything to a man. He ain't going to let you do it if he's a real man. He ain't going to let you lose everything, move yourself inside of him. He's going to want to bring out the best in you and you, because you're going to want to also bring out the best in him. Are you aware of your man's love language? Is he aware of yours? How much does this man know about you to want to marry you? And how much do you really know about this man to want to marry him? You down on one knee. Is he really that type of dude? Can, do y'all really have that type of communication going on? Is it safe to communicate with this man? Come on now. Think about this. Knowing this will make it easier to communicate in the relationship. If you know his love language. Are you making getting married all about you and not about love? But your desire to have it your way? Or did you actually think about if y'all get married, you think he going to fall in love with you afterwards? Before you get to the point of the proposal, I recommend you listen to the video that I'm going to put in the description below before you say I do. And you, I need you to ask him 10 questions before you propose to him or, or before he proposed to you, which is actually supposed to, how it's supposed to happen. Click the link in the description box below. And also, I'm going to put another one in there called Enjoy Your Single Season so that you can build yourself up so that you won't be so desperate for a man during the dating phase that you will attract the wrong type of man and that you will attract the right type of man that will naturally want to be with you, that will naturally uh, attract the energy of a princess. You need to attract that energy. You give off princess vibes, you will attract the prince. Another reason why the man you are with has, no, has not proposed to you yet is because maybe he doesn't see you as marriage material or he doesn't see you as wifey. Maybe he's seeing somebody else. Maybe he just see you as a sex partner. And maybe you fell in love with him based on the sex and decided in your mind, if he doesn't ask me, I'm going to ask him. Maybe you need to check to see if you have not outgrown a relationship. If this man outgrown you or you outgrown him. What season is he in? Is he, you know, noncommittal? If the two of you are not a right fit for each other, you know, like check, check, check to see how you know the chemistry is do you are you vibing is it and the, the 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 um the relationship is the landscape of the relationship is it healthy or is it toxic are your needs being met and is his needs being met you know um and then ask your boyfriend you know you say babe what changes do I need to make in order for you to see me as marriage material or see me as wifey? And what needs to happen in order to become his wife? Are you willing to make those changes? And is he willing to make those changes? Because he said, babe, I want to get married, but I need you to change this and this and that's about you. Then that will make me safe or maybe make me feel more secure about being married to you. Because being married is long term. So we need to really have this serious conversation because when we get married, I don't want to have to go out, go, go, waste all that time and energy planning the wedding to only get a divorce in three to six months. You know, our financially need obligations being met. Can you afford to be married at this time? Can you afford a wedding? So you want to bypass, you know, do a cheaper wedding in order to get married at the courthouse just to hurry up and say you got married. Nah, I think you need to have the whole wedding, go through the venue, get the wedding book, 
get the buy the, buy the wedding planner, get the hire the wedding planner, get the wedding dress. Don't cut no corners. Don't make it cheaper. No, you need to go through the whole gist of a wedding because this is going to determine the type of man that he is for you. So if y'all arguing, fussing, and fighting, y'all need to learn how to work through that phase. You know, of having a wedding, which I had to go through in order to be, you know, go through having a wedding. Your ma your mama dresses, mom and daddy dress and all that. You know, you know, the bridesmaids, y'all need to have them go through a full wedding. Don't let that man marry you on no budget. I absolutely not. I think not. Not G, not me. Are you rushing into something that you're not ready for? Are you rushing to, because you're going to regret it later if y'all both rushing. If he want to rush, rush, I love you. I want to marry you. What is he trying to get? If you're right. He rushing. He, he, he after something. He trying to use you. He trying to use your money, your resources. It's something he after. Your friend, your connections, or something about being with you that's attracting him. And he want to hurry up and rush and marry you. It's because you making him look good. He make you look good. Well, what is that? Y'all both look good on the gram. Y'all both look good on book, on the book, on Facebook. Y'all look good on social media. So, you know, and being with him, being with you is going to attract more people to him. That's what that is. You ain't realizing it. Or is that why you want to marry him? Because he look good and you trying to get more likes on social media. Y'all look, y'all look good for the ground. But behind closed doors, he whooping your butt. He tearing you, or drag, he dragging you through the house. But y'all, y'all take it selfish. Y'all just put some makeup on them bruises and y'all just, y'all posing for the ground. Are you are you creating a healthy living environment while y'all are together? Is this a healthy living environment? I mean, is it peaceful or is it violent like I was just ex describing? Does it feel like a home when y'all are together? Does this man is this man need to be respected? Does this cuz you know, a man needs to be respected and a woman needs to feel safe, loved and cherished. So are you are you even providing Respect for this man, making this man feel respected and appreciated and not tolerated when he walked through the door. Are you making him feel like this is a house? Uh, this house is a home for you. Are you are you wanting to get married for the sake of just having a beautiful wedding? You know, the thrill of checking up, checking off your bucket list. If you are both genuinely in love, then wait until the man season come around for him to desire to marry you. Let that man desire you. If 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 you are acting so controlling and you force the marriage, then the man will go through with the wedding to only divorce you. He'll do it in 24 hours. He'll go through all that mess and divorce you the next day or a few months down the road. He'll obey your needs for now, for one night, and literally turn around and leave. You, you run the risk of embarrassment and shame of having a short-lived marriage. Because he only married you out of pity and not love. And you got married to say, I conquered that. I got that off my checklist. That's what it sounds like. You trying to force that man to be with you. That sounds so very controlling and domineering and masculine. You know, that's a, you know, uh, toxic feminine. You know, been there, done that. You know, or, or are you too far in love with this man or too far in this relationship to break it off? And, and being alone or being without him is not an option. In the end, you're going to feel like a Bob to build a chick with this man. You're going to feel like this man is some type of home improvement renovation project at your house because you're going to have to constantly build him up and because he's really feeling insecure like you're his mother because, because of his lazy, immature ways and he's not invested in trying to build a healthy relationship. He's an adult child you get to sleep with. That's, dis that's disgusting. You know, a man that allows a woman to take control like this does not have a sense of direction for his life. Because if he did, he would want to be a better man for her. Do the right thing to make a better life together. A man will work day and night to provide for his household. Because he does not want another man to come and take his woman. And he does not want his woman stressed out, paying all the bills, or worrying about the or worrying about how to make a make a living for him and the children. A man needs to feel like a man a man needs to feel needed so he can he can be superhero for his family if a man is not needed he's a boy why do you really want to marry this man and he don't make you feel safe 
you know, I mean, I mean, financially or emotionally, how much progress have this relationship, have you made in your, in your relationship? Has he put enough effort in, in this relationship to even demonstrate that he's ready for marriage? Is he mature enough to handle that? What if you get pregnant or do you have children and you think he'll grow up? Chances are this man is not going to get any worse and he's not going to get any better. He's going to get worse and he's going to desire his freedom. You need to accept this man that this is who he is and you need to move on with your life and keep moving forward. And you need to go in the well, go, go, go in the corner somewhere and, and, and pray about this thing because in the end it's going to get worse for you and you're going to find yourself in therapy and, and, and in a pastor office for therapy. You're not looking at this from a proper perspective because maybe God is showing you the type of man that he is so that you can let go. And you're just trying to step in front of God and propose to this man. You're trying to do God's work by showing this man that you, the type of woman that you are. When this man is showing you who he is, God is showing you who this man is, but you, you blocking your blessings. Because God cannot bless you because you got this man in your, in your house and in your life. And he just used you and God said she don't even see it. This is why you are so miserable and stressed out because you think marrying this man is going to improve the quality of your life or the quality of your relationship. And God is saying, no, this man is using you and this man ain't making no attempts to become a better person or a better man for you. And you're not miss You're not getting it. You're not getting it. By the end of this relationship, this man is going to leave you bitter, confused, and exhausted, broke, and broken. He's going to drain you of all your resources, your time, and your energy. Sis, take a step back and reevaluate your standards. Go back to your list. Go back to your list. Reevaluate your princess energy and what you need from your prince. Watch that video. That, your prince. I'm going to put that, that video in the link, too. How to attract your prince. You know, oh, stop chasing that man. That's essentially what you're doing when you when you are uh, proposing to him. Become self-aware of what the hell you doing. Stop trying to do this man's job for him. Walk in your feminine energy. Require that man to operate in his masculine prince energy. Let him operate in his prince energy. Be a whole healthy Proverbs 31 man. And let this, and you become a whole Proverbs 31 woman. A man that lets you drop down on one knee, see this as a woman begging to be with him. A woman that's desperate for a man. His pride and ego is loving this, and he's going to treat you how he wants to treat you. He's going to embarrass you and humiliate you throughout the entire relationship because this is, he's going to, he's going to be exhibiting now a toxic setting for this relationship. Because he's insecure. And he knows that this woman, he knows you out of your league. That's probably why he didn't marry you. Sis, think about it. He know I can't keep this woman up. I know I can't keep this woman. If I marry her, she's going to want me to pay bills. He's going to want me to buy her stuff. She's going to take her here, take her there, shopping, all that. Sis, she could do better than me. I know she could do better. This man is saying this to his mind. She can, she know she deserves a, she, she deserves better than what I can provide for her. She deserves a man that can do these things for her that she really needs. Taking her places and doing things with her. She deserves the best. He knows he's not on top of his game. So therefore, he, he knows he's not a leader or a provider. And you will see it in his actions. A lot of women, a lot of women had to be independent in the past in order to, to provide. So why would you make yourself go through this? Make yourself desirable in this man's eyes and act like a lady and be soft and be feminine and dress up and make yourself beautiful and maintain your godly princess. Proverbs 31, woman energy. Speak with intelligence and carry yourself with dignity and pride. Have respect for yourself and others. Have a pleasant countenance and be safe for a man to love you. Be a joy to be around you. Be fun, flirty, and full of jokes. Just, just have fun a little bit. Relax and smile. Be approachable. Princess energy. And make yourself, and this will, you will automatically attract a prince. When Boaz looked up and saw Ruth gleaming, he said, who is this? He saw her value from day one. 
She was gleaming in the field. Ruth did not chase him. She wasn't trying to get his attention. She made her feelings known. Yeah, when he approached her, yes, I like you too. And Boaz went out of his way to meet her family, meet Naomi, and let her know, I love her and I want to marry her. A man will make his intentions known. When you propose to a man, this is stepping out of your natural use. Do not get mad at God because you chose the wrong man. You ignored the red flags. God showed you. Worst of all, you're going to have to keep up this energy for the rest of the relationship. Like I was saying, because this man is exhibiting toxic masculine energy, wanting you to take care of him. And you take away, and this takes away from you. And this takes away from that man being a leader and a provider. Providing security for you, providing security for your children if you should have them, financially and emotionally. A man that findeth the wife findeth the good time and obtain favor from the Lord. So, otherwise, that man will tell you. If any man tells you otherwise, that, oh, a woman, she, she can't propose to a man, that's fine. It's, it's no problem. He immature. He, he's a player. He ain't looking. He, he, he just like to sleep around with other women. So he just like that attention. He's non-committal because he's not looking to get married or be in a committed relationship. He's probably a homosexual. He'll probably do it for a place to stay. Hey, I'll marry you. I, I need a place to stay. Oh, it's better than being on the street. He ain't really that interested in a committed relationship. And he probably, you know, not serious about this woman. He don't love you. That's why he didn't marry you. So you sitting up here trying to shoot your shot and get down on one knee, marry this man. You walking into a full blown disaster, and you going and your wedding is gonna be premature. If this has happened to you, meet me in the comment section. Let's have this conversation. Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.